This is a US MRE menu three, chicken, noodles, and vegetables and sauce. Now weighing in at one pound, 12 ounces and containing approximately 1200 calories, this meal could be good for lunch or dinner. Let's open her up. Oh, it looks like they've got an inner plastic pouch on this one. That's kind of interesting. Check that out. So right off the bat, we got our main chicken and noodles. Sleeve there has the nutrition information. Got the FRH in a pretty thin bag, really. Nice. Hot beverage bag. Spoon. Seems pretty sturdy. Peppermint candy rings. So those are probably just like lifesavers or something. Cheese filled pretzel. That sounds pretty good. Beef snack. Some of those classic MRE crackers with cheese spread. Beverage based powder, tropical punch. And then we're in to that accessory packet. Oh, nice. So in here we've got a P38, kicking it old school. You know, that's kind of weird because there aren't actually any cans in this menu. I wonder why they included that. Got your toilet paper. Couple of chiclets. Box of MRE matches. Cool. Packet of coffee instant type three. Oh, and here's something interesting. In this menu, instead of sugar with your coffee, it looks like they give you a bitterant. That's kind of unusual. Oh, and it's Nintendo Switch brand name, too. Nice little taste of home. Packet of salt. And some creamer, if you like creamer with your bitterant. And then the other two things are a moist towelette. And you know how the old ones used to have that tiny little bottle of Tabasco sauce? Well, this menu has a full-size bottle of Cholula, which, oh, that's kind of a shame. It looks like someone's already opened this. You know, it just goes to show, you gotta be really careful where you get these from, which, shout out to my buddy Garrett, by the way, for giving me this MRE. He doesn't sell them on eBay or anything, but if you ever get a chance to go out drinking with him, I would take it. He's a cool dude. Well, that's all looking pretty good. Okay, let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Well, I don't really own a tray, but we'll make do with what we got here. All right, let's start by mixing up our drinks. I'm using a little less water than it calls for here. I think that'll be pretty good. And our coffee instant type three and our switch bitterant. I think I'm gonna skip the creamer. Pretty big granules. You know, before we dig into that main, I gotta try some of this. I just can't help myself. Hmm. Well, mm, yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure what Nintendo puts on the cartridges themselves is denatonium benzoate, which it's the same kind of stuff they put in antifreeze and rat poison to keep people from eating it. I, I don't really know who thought this would be a good addition to a ration component, but it just... It doesn't quite work unless, well, maybe. Oh, no, no, that's still awful. Kind of a shame, but we're not gonna let it ruin our meal. Now the main here, I actually just boiled this in the bag for about 10 minutes because I didn't really want to use the FRH in my house, but let's see how we did. Mm. Looks pretty thick. 
I gotta tell you, it smells pretty nice. That's looking pretty good. Before we dig in, let's get our other snacks out here. Freaking... Couldn't get the cheese spread for some reason. Had to go at it with my teeth. That's okay. You look at that bad boy. You know, maybe I should have more plates here. There we go. Can't exactly do that out in the field, but I didn't really want to get crumbs all over my table. Double wrapped. All right, that's all looking pretty good. Start off with some of these cheese and crackers. Start off with some of these cheese and crackers. Mm. Very, more or less exactly like cheese whiz. You know what it reminds me of? Back when I used to run races in cross country, my buddy Kevin Minchaka once brought me a saltine with a crap load of cheese whiz on it in the middle of a race. My mouth was really dry, so I couldn't get it down. Some of the most miserable I ever was during cross country. It's a good time. Try one of these cheddar pretzels. You know, they were pretty dry too, but not as dry as that. Wash it down with a little bit of that. Uh, I don't know why I keep going back to that. Wash it down with a little of our red Kool-Aid here. You know, I think the less water is definitely the way to go. All right, let's try a bite of our mane here. Looks pretty hearty. Got fairly big pieces of chicken and noodles up in there. That's not bad. It's better than what you would get out of a can, that's for sure. Tastes like just wholesome, hearty cafeteria food. Be nice. Middle of a long day of hiking, that's for sure. You know, those crackers aren't that bad, but I think they'd benefit a lot from a little bit of salt or, you know, maybe a little bit of Cholula. Oh, yeah, that's definitely way to go. That picks it right up. And you know, it's nice that they give you so much of it. Still kind of a shame about it being open from the start, but again, no big deal. You know, I almost forgot. Let's try a bite of that beef snack. Hmm. Pretty good. It feels a little bit greasy to the touch, but the end result is it's not all that dry, so that's actually pretty nice. You know, right after I said that, I bit down on something really hard in my bite of that. I don't know what that was, but it was a little bit off-putting. Kind of a shame. It's also really salty. I guess that's where all the sodium from the crackers went. But just eating it here, it's a little bit too much, but I bet after a long hike or something, it'd be pretty nice. That was actually pretty good, especially since I haven't eaten today. <sighs> you know, that stuff kind of grows on you. You know, one thing I forgot about till just now was those peppermint candy rings. It'd be a shame to miss out on some of those. Oh, they are literally lifesavers. So you get name brand one of those and the Switch Bitterant. That's pretty nice. So the good news is I actually kind of like this now, but the bad news is I think there's blood in my saliva. Mints. Mm. 
Yep. That's just a normal lifesaver. Wint O Green. Best flavor. Clean up with that moist towelette. Smells like not much, actually. Pretty tough. Shoutouts again to Garrett for getting me this ration. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, this has been Tim from Cheese Biscuit Productions. Hope you liked the video. And we'll be coming back at you with something weep weep. Or, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. See ya.